Hello, I'm there's the cartographer, and this is the 101st video in my Fallout 76 Surveil series. Here we are at Emmett Mountain Disposal Site. Looking at the map, Emmett Mountain Disposal Site is here in the Savage Divide, to the north of Huntersville, and to the west of the West Tech Research Center. As you can see there on the wall, this was formerly a uh, site of the Department of Energy. Uh, now, Post Wastelander is, it has been taken over by scavengers. Um, so yeah, this place uh, has changed. We did a video on this prior to Wastelanders, and we'll take a look at this place now. Uh, so yeah, if you want to take a look sure, at that, things, these scavengers are wearing uh, well. United States Department of Energy hazmat suits. So that's a pretty neat thing. You can tell from the little sigils on their side and the uh, the shield here. So if we come in here, rad roaches, uh, rad roaches and feral ghouls. Those are the enemies you're going to be finding at this site. Uh, now you technically don't really have to fight anything yeah, coming in here. These guys can take terrible. care of the feral ghouls themselves. Uh, let's take, just take a look here in the security office. So I've not found a collectible in here, but there is a stim pack there um, and some containers. You can find some just general junk that you can find around here and some food in there. Uh, let's head back out here. For whatever reason, there is a limousine here Watch parked in front of the place. I can't tell you exactly why that would be the case. Uh, this place does have something of a checkered pass to it. Uh, we covered that last time, though, when going over the terminal entries. Uh, basically, it was not operating properly, and it seems to have been designed to not be operating properly, potentially to test the effects of radiation on the people that were working here. Uh, we got a couple of Pulowski preservation shelters here. Nothing in either one of them, though. We can head back here to this, uh, I don't know what this would be, warehouse. And uh, taking a look around here, just some consoles. There is a mod that can potentially can spawn here, so I'll show you that. Okay. And we got this little closet back in here. Just some more crates of junk and uh, explosives. We can come around here. No, oh yeah, there's this terminal here, but you uh, again, we covered that last time. No new stuff on that. Uh, we got these uh, consoles coming around this way. Uh, some sugar there. Back in here, there are actually a lot of hazmat suits and damaged hazmat suits here. Uh, in fact, I believe I found four of each. Uh, we also got some water there in that cage. Uh, strangely, it doesn't count as stealing, even though these guys have definitely taken over this site as their own. Uh, they're an interesting group of salvagers. They basically go around finding things that uh, is too dangerous for other people to harvest. They pick it all up, package it all up, and oh, there we go. Take care of this real quick. All right. So yeah, we got these uh, large blue pieces of equipment here. Pipes going to the ground. These are probably related to ventilation. Uh, but coming back in here, we got some shelving, a wooden table there, just some boxes full of junk. Uh, coming around here, we have a, uh, another wooden table there. Again, some one of those little testing stations and a stim pack. That should do it for up here, though. Uh, next, we've got this little uh, sheet metal warehouse. We'll take a look in there. Oop. Okay, so yeah, you can have a magazine spawn right here on this desk, and I'll show you that now. All right, and you can have a mod spawn right over here on this shelf. All right, and uh, the rest of this is just a little warehouse, not really much to see, some wood piles. In fact, let's talk about what you can find here. So along with the wood piles, you can also find brain fungus, glowing resin, and wild carrot flowers. Now the, the glowing resin you can actually see from here. It's uh, right up there on that tree. Uh, along with that, again, carrot flowers like you can see right over there. And there's plenty of glowing fungus, uh, or sorry, brain fungus. And I think there's even some glowing I fungus. Wish. I may have missed writing that down. Anyway, though, definitely some brain fungus inside. So let's take a look over here. Now, unfortunately, Hello. you cannot loot this microscope because it's used by this scavenger who's going around constantly taking notes, looking at the microscope and all that. Otherwise, that would be a great source of junk right there. Again, more uh, radiation meds, and then we also have these uh, the hazmat suit there and some more... Some more drugs. Uh, this right here is potentially where you can find a bobblehead, so I'll show that right behind now. After the war. Scavenge with the best or starve with the rest. All right. And let's see, anything else to see around here? Again, just shelves and lockers and okay. desks and um, junk there. and all of them. Let's head inside. So the interior of this place is actually now completely enemy free, unless you're doing the event Radiation Rumble. Uh, that takes place further down, and we'll talk about that when we get there. I was just going to say, there used to be a death claw in here. There is no longer. Again, more uh, again, ammo containers. We've got more shelves and boxes and all things full of junk, all of which you can steal without any liability here. 
Uh, heading up here, we got a couple of. Uh, I'm assuming these are also related to the ventilation of the of the, uh, of the place. Hey, <laughs> been here five times, and this has not shown up one of those times. So power armor can show up here in this uh, power armor station. We got a console there, another console there going around. You can have a fusion core show up here. I've had that show up twice. Uh, hey, coming back through here. Copper's always handy. You can find a hey. magazine here on this desk. I've found it twice, in fact. I'll show you one of them now. Okay. We've got some more shelves with more junk. Another hazmat suit there. A laser rifle there. This area, it's just a passage down to below. It's completely empty. Uh, except for maybe some brain fungus. Yeah. So, keep in mind, you can Anybody get a good amount of brain fungus hands. in here. And there is a dead miner from... Rest this place back when it was operating, uh, being operated by the Department of Energy, uh, but other than that, it's uh, it's pretty much useless. If we come around here, there is a locker room. Okay, so we got some sinks, got a thing of psychotats there, uh, hazmat suit. You can find a recipe right over here, and I think this is the same recipe I found every single time. I haven't picked it up apparently though, so <laughs> there's that, because uh, I was always taking a shot of it. Anyway, little uh, bathroom there. Coming back through here, we got radiation showers and the decontamination. So if you get yourself irradiated in here, you can do that. And this is a very high radiation site. Now this right here is the uh, little klaxon alarm. We can press this. And doesn't do anything. These people don't react to it at all. So anyway, they'll turn that off. And in fact, I'm going to put on a uh, my Chinese stealth armor because this place is very highly irradiated. Five pounds of aluminum, ten pounds of steel. Or not highly irradiated, What's it's highly radioactive. Very different things. Anyway, uh, coming up over here, you can potentially find, and it's here today, a bobblehead. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day that's coming up in, well actually I think that's still over a week away. <laughs> but anyway, right there. Okay, uh, we can head down here. And there's not really much to see in these areas, especially now that there's no death claw. Uh, just some rad scorpions, not rad scorpions, sorry, rad roaches. Uh, again, this area is extremely high radiation. Occasionally, I'll even see this thing while I'm wearing uh, a highly uh, radiation resistive suit. I'll still see this thing pop up to, you can see right there, plus four. And occasionally, it gets these little tiny jolts where it pops up to like plus 31. We got the uh, locations industrial trunk here. And let's head back up towards the middle. Okay. Again, that was storage B. Now, you'll notice that my rads have already jumped up to fill up, what is that, 10% of my overall health bar there? And again, that's with the Chinese stealth armor on, which is very uh, good against radiation. Coming down here, more barrels. These areas, they uh, set up with wooden... <laughs> With wooden supports, basically, they're uh, almost guaranteed they were going to collapse. Uh, then we have these guys in here. These were some of the original workers. They're buried. Over here, we talked about this last time, but I'll just point it out again. Super Mutant Parts. Uh, those Super Mutant Parts coming, of course, from uh, West Tech Huntersville. They were disposing of the bodies of the Super Mutants they were creating by sending them up here in barrels. So that's Storage A. We've seen Storage A and B. We'll head down here to an area that was blocked off before. All right, so this is the area where you'll actually be doing Radiation Rumble. They added this with Wastelanders. Uh, we got Marion Copeland up here. And for business. Man, the lighting in here is just not you good. Say it. Any say it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you can come over here. These uh, radiation showers do not work. Or at least there's no button that I've found in my time coming through here. It's just laying around. Anyway, totally coming around here, we got uh, some more containers full of junk. We've got uh, more consoles. More uh, aid. We got a uh, Tikra's workbench right here. More junk lying on the shelves. Okay. This little thing right here. And then we can come right back up in here. Just more machinery. And then if we come out the back, Normally we got se storage sell, C and D. And, and if we check these places get. out, as you can see, we got all these old barrels here. Again, not really much to see here. Whole area is just uh, blocked up. Just a bunch of barrels. Okay, and that's really what you're going to see on the other side as well. 
so there's not really any point in going down uh, <coughs> side D. All right, so uh, let's see if there's scavenging. anything else to talk about here. Scavenge. I think that was everything that I found. Yeah, because I, I that's uh, yeah, that's all the collectibles. That's all that we talked about the enemies. All talked the about the plants and the here. War. We should make good use of it. So I think all we have to do now is uh, take a look at the stuff that I found here. Okay. Well, I think that'll do it. This has been the Eraser Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.